uh, a Cleveland man allegedly tapes videos a killing of an elderly man and then posts it on Facebook. Now, this is I, I'm very much a sign of the time story, but do you think that anything can or should be done about posting this kind of video on social media? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this was a failure on the part of Facebook because it took several hours to get that Facebook Live video down. And one of the things we have seen in some of these recent mass shootings and other tragedies is that the perpetrators, you know, sort of crave uh, public recognition. And with Facebook Live, you can now broadcast yourself doing anything. Uh, I, I can see where it's hard for a giant social network to police every single thing, but once it is happening, it shouldn't take hours for Facebook to spring into action. It's a horrifying situation. We don't know whether all of the murders claimed by this guy in Cleveland actually took place or he's actually responsible, but I do think it's a significant failure on the part of Facebook. Is it a free speech issue? I'm not defending murders on live television or live Facebook. I'm not defending that. But it does encroach to some degree on the whole concept of free speech, doesn't it? Well, it's an interesting dilemma. I mean, I'm a huge free speech guy, yeah. and I don't think that the thing should be taken down just because somebody finds it offensive. But when you're talking about criminal acts, because there have been other incidents, uh, rapes, for example, sexual assaults broadcast on Facebook Live, I mean, that's where I think there's a clear red line that society can draw, that Facebook can draw, that any social media company can draw without getting ensnared into, oh, are we infringing on this person's rights? You don't have the right to commit crimes, and we don't necessarily have to see them broadcast live through social media. Interesting though, Howard, it has had no impact at all on Facebook stock, which is still very close to an all-time record high. That's the way it is, I guess. Well, Howard I guess Kurtz, Facebook didn't drag anybody off a plane. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd get back to that somehow or other. That story has legs, does it not? It sure does. Even if it was dragged. Okay, Howard Kurtz, thank you very much for joining us, sir. We'll Thanks. see you again soon. All right.